the tension. Are your guys reacting to what you're saying? They're all in. They're all listening. And I'm sure the message is, guys, hey, we can't play well for two quarters. It's got to be about four quarters. They clearly, in Spolster's words, lost their edge. I can see it in the way they played in that third quarter. It's still a Philadelphia team shooting only 33% tonight. They will get back in it with second chances. Lou Williams almost knocked it away inside. Haslam got a second chance and put it in. And Haslam has talked about sort of not being comfortable, being a little bit out of his element. Well, get back in your element, do enough. Deep point Philadelphia Lee or deficit. Williams didn't move the ball on that offensive trip. And back come the Heat. Wade just smoothly settles into one. Williams, Turner, Young, Meeks, and Vucevic. For Philadelphia, and Jody Meeks has his shot blocked by D. Wade. But Thaddeus Young got him a second one. Remember we talked about Mike at the start of the telecast, sort of 50-50 balls having to be Philadelphia's. In the third period, they got more of those. That's another one right there. Go, you, you've got to make up for your talent deficit somehow. Eight offensive rebounds. Good opportunity hedging by Vucevic. Nine on the shot. Darius, those numbers you're talking about. Look at that rebound margin just in the third quarter. That points the paint. They've been in there all night. Now just making use of their opportunities. Haslam. Well, that's uh, been big. We've seen a few of those from Udonis Haslam tonight. We have not seen him hit many of those in the last few weeks. Haslam hit those on a regular basis a couple of seasons ago. And missed most of last year for injury came back late in the playoffs. And you like to think, Mike, that those are the shots that he's going to get in the playoffs. You know, some, they're going to sell out to the other two guys. Those are shots you've got to make. Good defense by Miami, forcing the turnover and then forcing the Evan Turner foul. Right, this guy, it's not for a lack of paying the price. If you've ever been in Miami, you know that UD puts in the time. He loves playing in his hometown. I played his college ball in Florida. Reflected last touch by Miami. So many of you are familiar with the story. Haslam lost 50 pounds, became such a popular player. Part of that championship. Gators now almost a decade here in the league and last season those 13 games played because the uh, Liz Frank ligament left foot injury missed about 85 percent of the season. So Man has done a good job any pick and roll situations defensively here tonight. Turner the miss and out of bounds the other way to the heat. Well point of emphasis two points of emphasis if you're Miami coming in here pick and roll defense Eric Spolster said we've had breakdowns we pride ourselves on being one of the better pick and roll defensive teams in the league and rebounding and four long stretches of these games this game they've been good in both spots. Boz try to chase it down no foul young. Go. Can Philly get a couple of stops and scores to get within eight points? Four quarters in this series and in their playoff series last year have been dominated by Miami. Good challenge by Williams. Cole took it away. Grant changed the shot. A hit ahead. Williams is open. At Battier. So another case in point, Mike, where you don't go at the chest of the defender. You're, you're avoiding contact. Why? At least come away with a couple free throws. Great, great point there, Doris. Wade coming to the basket. He'll draw the foul and get two free throws. See, I think Lou Williams is upset that he didn't get the foul call. But if you're a good offensive player, and he is a good offensive player, but you don't avoid him. You go at him. Good job by Battier to challenge without fouling. And another missed opportunity by the young Sixers. by Skechers. Dwight Howard not running anywhere but up and down the court to the Magic. Here the easy lob from Jameer Nelson. Early in transition, an easy bucket from Hito Turkoglu. Just 17.6 boards for Howard, but the Magic up 18. Now back to Philly. Here's Lisa Salters. Thanks, JB. With well, the Miami Heat lead the Philadelphia 76ers by 13 here in Philadelphia. But speaking of Dwight Howard, I spoke to Dwight earlier today just to ask him how he was doing now that everything
everything is seemingly over. And he said he's really happy with his decision. But he said he is bothered by the fact that he's getting criticism uh, for the way he went back and forth. He says he's heard everything from him being dumbed, childish, indecisive. And he said what people don't understand is that it was a really difficult decision. He said, on one hand, I think that if I had gone someplace else, I had a lot more financial opportunities if I'd gone to a bigger market. He said, and then, the, on the other hand, you know, it's Orlando, and I love Orlando. He said, the bottom line was, it was love versus money. And he said, I chose Orlando. Right? Huh. Interesting, Lisa. He chose love. Can I have both? Can I have love <laughs> and money? <laughs> It, 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 Dwight, very introspective about the choice. You could see outwardly how conflicted yeah. he was, and it's easy to criticize from afar, but you don't know who's in his ear, what's in his head, and there's the decision. What, what do you think about the Howard situation? Well, no, I, I thought Dwayne Wade said something very interesting today about it. He said, there's going to be good things said about you. There's going to be bad things said about you, no matter what you do. I think it's his right to do what's right for Dwight Howard. The system is in place for that to happen. Young on the miss. Brand fighting inside. Young and Brand to the deck. Meets a triple. Got a ball. Ten point game. I thought the, the missed free throws at the end of the third by Lou were big, big, big. Because they, they lost some momentum after that play. That's a big momentum builder, that three. Way foul by Brand on the outside. On the trap. Well, Jody Meeks, his role doesn't change because he's now coming off the bench. He's here to make shots. He's a little bit streaky, but he does there. One thing that this team is doing effectively right now, the Sixers, they're trapping <laughs> out front, right? They're yes. trapping yes. out front, and it's, it's disrupting Miami's rhythm in a half court. It's taking its toll. Meeks in his last four games since becoming a bench player, 12 points in 50 minutes. It struggled mightily, showing some signs here tonight with a couple outside shots. Five on the shot. Wade had really nowhere to go and nothing going on. LeBron at the end of the clock, short on the three, but Haslam just slaps it and keeps it alive. That's frustrating because, again, the traps are forcing tough passes and shot clock under duress, and then you do the job except you don't finish the possession. As in screen, LeBron with space. And the free train gets run, hard to stop. Meeks has it. He's two on one with Evan Turner. Back to Meeks. He didn't get called for a takedown of Young. Wade takes a three in transition. Odd shot. Bad shot. Better said. He tries with the steal out of the corner. Turner triple. Time out, Miami. What a comeback for the Sixers. Six-minute window where they scored 18 points earlier in the game. Darth, they scored 16 points in a quarter and a half, and this is a shocking comeback. Yeah, I mean, listen, they gave away possession to the third period, and here in the fourth, I'd be okay with this shot if either Bosch or Haslam were in the paint, but, you know, nobody else touches the ball, and this is the gamble. Now, if you're going to make a gamble like this, which I don't think is a good one, because Udonis Haslam isn't paying attention. Now, if Dwayne goes to make a play like that, Udonis has got to be thinking, i got to get out Absolutely. Needless to say, the house has been hopping for the entire time you were away. Look at the flip here. 
20 more rebounds, 11 rebounds on the offensive end alone in the second half for Philadelphia. In the last eight road losses, their rebounding woes have been the major story. Come to the trap again, Brandon tip from behind. Chalmers stopped it, a little floater. They got fortunate because I'm telling you, this trap in the fourth period has completely disrupted Miami. Back to seven. Oklahoma City, San Antonio. Two more division leaders follow us here on ESPN. Meeks, nice pass to Brand. Better slap away by LeBron. Wade the other way. Circling in. Shot no good. Last touch Wade. Wayne, 6 of 16 here on the night. There's 2 of 7 in this second half. Evan Turner off the curl. That's the five. He looks like an incredibly confident player all of a sudden. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's talking smack with Blaine Wade. Running conversation. Ha. Different guy. Box the screen for Chalmers. Has them waited. Good night, oh, Udonis has them. Four wow. six in the field. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. He's better with the scowl, isn't it? <laughs> Forty-five to go. Usually Lou Williams on the floor in these stretches from Philadelphia. Nearly a turnover. Iguodala pumping, tripling. Chalmers kicked it to the ground. Saved by Brand. Scramble situation. Meeks settles it. And it's Turner coming around to get the ball. A lot of questions. Can he play the point guard? I think he's shown he can. Look at his confidence, man. Look at his confidence. Look at his confidence. Evan Turner, how do you do? He's far and away their best rebounder. Yeah. It's five with four minutes to go. Turner challenged Chalmers. Haslow again. Got it again. Wow, those are stone cold. Yeah. Any questions about whether or not he's comfortable? I think he's figured it out. And Philadelphia are going to take a timeout here with 3.42 to go. Seven-point game. Evan Turner, the number two pick in the draft. Thought he should have been a starter. Sat the bench early. They've put him in the starting lineup, and he's been a different guy, a confident guy by far. Their best rebounder. Running a little curl play. Takes a little handoff. Pull-up jump shot before Dwayne Wade can challenge. And Evan Turner feeling good, looking good. And Udonis Haslam is the guy bailing out Miami in the fourth. Yeah, low screen, high screen. He gets to the open area. And the important thing here, Mike, is he's shot ready off the action. The play's breaking down. He's just following the ball. And his feet are set. And he's shot ready. Haslam has eight. Chalmers has two in the fourth quarter. The big three have 0 for 7 from the field. Very odd fourth quarter here for Miami. Off the timeout, see what Doug Collins brought out. Peaks three. Air ball. Miami ball with three and a half to go. Trying to keep Meeks' head up there. And every possession, is, and, and this is typical when you watch Philly, young team, Doug is always instilling every possession, trying to keep these guys positive and going forward. Very much a teacher. James on an ISO. They get all with him. A lot of white shirts coming for help. LeBron smacked in the face to the foul call. Back to the to the area where he's been dominant. And you can see a hard foul. And those shots that Haslam's making are the shots to me he'll have to make in a postseason. Because good defensive teams are going to trap the guys that they don't want to shoot and make them give up the ball. 
two for four at the line tonight, Jay. Game two of our ESPN NBA Friday doubleheader. Got LeBron top, the third top scorer in the league. Guys right up there at the top of the list after Kobe. Kevin Durant, the two-time scoring champ, set to go. Division leaders, the Spurs and the Thunder for you next You're on ESPN. Lou Williams in for Jody Meeks and LeBron again splits the pair at the line. At the three-minute mark, the deficit eight has been as large as 29 tonight. Now it's six as Elton Brand knocks down the jumper. Yeah, he's just relocating just like Hasley, right? Yep. Just find the spot you're most comfortable making jump shots off the action of your guard. Still no field goals. Wade, James, Bosch here in the fourth. Miami team has only scored 23 in this half. Wade turns it over. Good recovery defense by Brand. Could be 4-3. Williams on a take. Floater! What a rebound, Young. Had it knocked away by Chalmers. One of the big steel men on this team. Haslam to the basket. Challenged by Brand. Jump follows Hall. How about that play? Difficult to block a shot on movement, especially retreating movement, and he is retreating. Wow. Wow. He's right. Bad thumbs and all. Well, with that right hand, he and has him on the tip, controlled by Philadelphia. As Collins sends a set play through Evan Turner. As we hit the two-minute mark, Miami has not been charged the team foul in this fourth quarter. To the basket, Turner hit hard, and he'll come to the line. Fouled in the act of shooting with 155 to go. These guys who can create their own shots, so a little high screen, not, not a very good one. He goes away from what looks like a reposition on screen, the crossover, and look at this. Wow. Sixty-seven percent shooter. One more for the Chicago native. Three years at Ohio State, National College Player of the Year. And John Wall taken ahead of him in the draft of 2010. Oh. Go back to the Lou Williams, too. Two miss, yep. And another couple of misses. Mm -hmm. And you can see how their record is poor in games decided by five or less. Bosch, awkward spot, could find a Haslam. Got a whistle and a foul. No basket. David Jones has a foul beforehand. And Mike Callahan does a good job helping him out because the ball did go in on the tip back in, but the foul was called on that initial shot. There's the foul. I'm going to give you a gray and black shirt. Because <laughs> that was a good call. <laughs> uh, Haslam misses. Both teams have missed uh, half their free throws here tonight. Tight game. Tight games all around tonight. Good, good night of basketball. This one got good. Ofer. Wow. Mm. But Collins wants his team to go quick. Down six. Everybody's got plenty of timeouts. And Iguodala takes the timeout. Philly will have it. At the hash mark, 28 feet away. 132 to go. Six-point game here. Reminder coming up next. The future Hall of Famer, Tim Duncan and the Spurs, taking on Oklahoma City. It's next for you on ESPN. Show some poise. Fourth quarter poise. You guys may have to move the ball a little bit. Trust each other. Now the ball moves, Mike, when you trust each other. It doesn't stick when you're able to play with pace. How shocking is this? In the fourth quarter, the big three have pulled up with one point. 
Bosch has been met at the rim a couple of times, has to come away with any free throws. Wade has had some questionable shots and decisions as well. Well, the turnovers, a couple yep. turnovers. Philadelphia comes out with Iguodala to trigger here, down six. Beats Young, Williams, and Evan Turner. Miami team that prides itself on its defense. We'll see how they do here in the final 90 seconds. Still a six-point lead. Williams guarded by LeBron. Step back and shot for two. Lou Williams who hit the big shots on Easter Sunday here during the playoffs. To give Philadelphia the only win they had in that series makes it a four-point game. He had to create separation with the step back as LeBron was ready to pounce. Mattier replaced Chalmers. Miami closes games big like this. James and Wade handling. Lock at four. Ames rises. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess you can trust him. <laughs> the ball didn't change hands. <laughs> okay. Number six, final minute. Williams triple short. Rebound box. Doug Collins telling us guys, no fouls, play this out. Got to stop. Young has defensively. LeBron running it down, ready to set. Quick again to handle. Took a three. Rebound Turner. Philly's got a push down six at the line. Williams can go get it too. And he did. Now you got a foul, yep. Mike. Four-point game. Iguodala doesn't see Doug Collins telling him to foul. There were 22 seconds left. Well, trying to get an eight-second violation, and now the foul is called. Iguodala wanted the eight-second call as he came across midcourt. I thought it was close, boy. I really did. He, if he got across, he just got across. Four-point game, 18.4. Doug Collins wanted to foul right away. He was up at midcourt yelling to Iguodala to foul, but he couldn't hear or see what was going on. As he was focused on defending LeBron, he tried to turn him side to side. Three of six at the line tonight. There's pressure in the heck out of him. Let's see when LeBron crosses midcourt. Because when it's sitting on 16, it's sitting on 16.0. Wow. So, Iguodala knew what he was looking at, and then couldn't get, Doug couldn't get his attention from the other side. Two free throws made. It's a six-point Miami lead with 18.4 to go. We were watching Iguodala. We were watching Doug over there on the side. Wanted to give the foul at that point, trying to extend the game. Miami ball when you come back. Darce, it's a young team. We keep harping on that. They are the division leaders. They are going through learning stretches. Do you think this is part of the reason they're 0-7 in these tight games? I don't think there's any any doubt. And uh, you know what? It's a process. And if you're Doug Collins, based on that last uh, replay, it's a painful process. But you go through it nonetheless. Look at him. He's still upset. You know as a basketball player, you had to foul him. He said it right away, yeah. With the way the clock ran down. Nick is one of your veterans, too. And he's in year eight in the league. Got to be quick, got to be three. Williams turns and tosses. Rebound by Wade as we run it down. Ten seconds with LeBron James taking it. Philadelphia won't foul. Miami led by 29. Had to play it out here at the end, but ends up with a six-point victory. A tenth consecutive victory over the Sixers in the regular season. Despite scoring only 27 points in the second half. Outscored 48 to 27. Gave some love over there for Will Smith, among others. And LeBron standing by with Lease. Thanks, Mike. LeBron, you guys had a 29 point lead in this game. What what happened? Uh, we got real lax. More offensively than defensively. So I take a lot of jump shots in the third quarter, resulting in them getting out on the break and getting some easy ones. When we got stops defensively, we never got the loose balls, the 50-50 balls that started making shots. And that's what happened when you let a team get confidence. But we look on the bright side, 
it was good to get another uh, close game win and in our four game uh, road losing streak. <laughs> what were they doing, if anything, that was giving you trouble? You know what? It's, it's a really good team. Let's not take a, a, away from the fact how good this team has improved. Um, it's a really good team. Coach Collins got them playing at a high level. Uh, we came out with a lot of aggression early. They finally settled in in the second half and made a game out of it. For you, four big buckets, four big points in the last seconds of the game, but in the fourth quarter altogether, five points. Chris and Dwayne, none. What was the difference between the fourth quarter crunch time and the rest of the game? Uh, well, it's winning time, and you know, like I said before the game, like I've said over the past, whoever has it going, whoever's feeling good, is going to try to carry us offensively to, to win the game. And uh, you know, I was happy and I'm blessed to be able to carry us and, and lead us to victory tonight. And uh, you know, stepped up when needed. Thanks and congratulations. Uh, I want to say one thing. Uh, Eddie Curry, a well, shout out to him. You know, passing his grandmother. We're here. We're praying for you, EC. See you back in Miami. Thanks, Thanks a lot, LeBron. Okay, LeBron had fought for his uh, teammate. Eddie Curry has not played much here uh, this year for Miami as being signed by the Heat. And we uh, extend our thoughts to the Curry family as well. You saw LeBron go over to you. Donis has him doing another interview there post game with one of the radio broadcasters a, a very big game in Haslam in the fourth quarter for this Miami team an important emergence Mike those shots are shots he's going to have to make coming down the stretch of this season and into the postseason so Doris the story here in the East on a day when uh, it was not good to be the number two seed in a basketball uniform Miami the two in the East for the moment gets the win with the two in Chicago on the loss column three games back overall Philadelphia's lead over Boston is just one game in the Atlantic as the Sixers try to hang on to that four spot with Indiana chasing. And remember, Philadelphia, because their division lead, is in that four spot, despite the Pacers having a better record. 84-78 when it's all said and done. Miami wins by six. Great to be with you. Darth? My pleasure. With Darth Burke, Lisa Salt is our entire ESPN team. Mike Tirico, so long from Philadelphia. San Antonio, Oklahoma City is next. First, we send it to the Fab Four in the studio at Mr.